Hey angels, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that gets constantly requested with my clients, something that is constantly requested in my Facebook Style Squad group, and that is what to buy when you're trying to lose weight or you're in between sizes. If you like this video while you're watching it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you have not already, then please don't forget to also hit that little red subscribe button down below. I post videos every single Sunday and Wednesday. And if you're gonna join me here, you may as well hop on over to Instagram, as that's where I'm also very active and would love to have you join me not only there, but also on my Style Squad Facebook private group. There are thousands of women there sharing their daily outfit inspiration, funny quotes and memes, their self-love journeys, and it is a really feel-good, positive group of women over there, and I would love to have you come and join us in that community also. Now, I think most women can relate to the fact that at some time in our life, we fluctuate in weight, whether we go up or down in size. Many are not sure as what they want or need to buy in their closet while they transition back to the size that they would prefer themselves to be. Now, I wanna make a disclaimer saying that I am not someone that is telling anybody that they need to lose weight. That is not the purpose of this video. But if you are currently at a point in your life where you're just not necessarily satisfied and you've chosen to take matters into your hands and want to lose weight to get you to a point where you feel you'll be happier, then I am all for helping you do that with your closet. Now, before I get into my tips, I also just want to say quickly that you know, most women, when they are at a size that they are unhappy with, continuously berate themselves and tear themselves down or nitpick at their bodies and are really very hard on themselves for not being an image that they've got in their mind that they deem to be more worthwhile or better to be. And I just want to take the moment and say to you, in case no one else has, that who you are in this moment right now is just as beautiful, just as worthwhile, and just as valuable as the image that you capture in your mind that you are trying to achieve. A lot of women tell me when they're at a transition point with their body that they don't want to invest in a lot of money because they don't feel that they'll be in this clothing for a long time. So I'm gonna give you some tips on things that you should keep in mind when you are shopping for yourself at this point in your life, and things that will help you transition seamlessly without having to spend a ton of money whilst you're changing sizes. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration when you are in a transition phase for your sizing is stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch will be your best friend <laughs> for your clothing, whether you're going up or down in sizing because it will give to the shape of your body no matter what your size. Now, this can be wonderful in both dresses, it can be great in pants, it can be great in leggings. Stretch is beautiful because if you are someone, let's say, that is losing weight, it will not only fit you currently, but as you lose weight, it's not going to look quite as shapeless as a traditional trouser would, let's say, for example, because the item that you're wearing, whether it's a jean or a legging, is going to mold to your body a little bit better than a trouser would. So it, the necessity to change out your clothing won't come quite as soon as if you were to wear a traditional structured fabric. So definitely keep stretch in mind for cardigans, for blazers, for... Um, again, leggings and jeans. To make sure that your garments still hold your shape, they still make you look beautiful when you wear them, and they still make you feel good when you look in the mirror. The second thing you wanna take into consideration when you're purchasing clothing for yourself is to stick to classics. You guys hear me talk about basics all the time on my channel, obnoxiously so, and it's because they do give you the versatility that so many of us crave in our closet. You guys have seen me do a capsule wardrobe before, you've seen me do um, numerous outfits, and I can bet you any money that most of those pieces or outfits you've seen me create on my channel are always made with at least one basic in that outfit. So if you're not sure what those basic pieces are, then I'm going to link the video somewhere up on the top of the screen. I'll also leave the link for that video down below in the description bar so you guys can check out what basics I recommend you have at any given time in your closet. The only difference to keep in mind with your classic pieces when you're looking for them is again, stretch. For example, I talk about having a basic black pant in your arsenal when you are making sure you've got a full, well-rounded closet. So instead of grabbing a traditional black pant, 
Again, look for one that has some great stretch. I personally love the ones at White House Black Market. They have not only a fabulous fit to them, they're a great mid to high rise, so you feel like you're tucked in nicely to your pant, but they're also really stretchy. So as you start to lose weight, you're not gonna get the saggy bum and things like that that tend to happen with pants very quickly as you lose weight. And instead, they'll stay and conform to your body for most part until you need to alter them or discard and get something new. Now on that classic note, my third tip is to actually create for yourself a capsule wardrobe. If you truly don't want to spend or invest a lot of money into your clothing at this point in time, creating a capsule wardrobe for yourself is such a excellent way of getting the best bang for your buck, getting a lot of versatility in your closet and making sure that you're really utilizing the pieces that you have while you transition to a different um, sizing or stage in your closet example of a capsule wardrobe that you can create for yourself is to have four tops, three bottoms, two layers. So this could be maybe a cardigan and a blazer and get some accessories and some shoes and one dress. I recommend a t-shirt dress and that combination will give you a minimum of 36 to 40 outfits. Tip number five is to have great accessories. Now the great thing about being at any size is accessories always look good and can completely change an outfit. If you're gonna be doing more of this capsule wardrobe style, especially if you're gonna get a lot of classics in your wardrobe to sort of help you transition right now, accessories are great because they can help you dress a look up or down. So whether you want to get scarves, for example, they are a great way to take some dressy pieces and make them casual, or you can get other jewelry that fits your aesthetic. One accessory I recommend any woman to have, especially if you're in a period where you feel like you need to lose weight or you're transitioning sizing, is to have a long necklace. And the type of long necklace that I recommend is one in a basic metallic chain. You can get a pendant on the bottom if you want, but the catch that I always recommend is to have something that falls just past your bust, just so that the pendant or the necklace isn't hitting at your bust directly. And because normally the long V that your chain is going to create from the necklace will look a little bit more elongating, it looks a little bit more streamlined, and it keeps the focal point typically around the small of your waist, which is a very flattering area for most women. You can also get really fun, great statement earrings. You can get statement shoes. You can get great fun handbags. There are so many ways to change up your look in ways that make you feel wonderful, that allow you to have some creative freedom in your closet, again, without spending a ton of money. And the best thing about accessories is they are not size dependent. You can still use them for as long as you want. Tip number six has to do more with the sizing of your clothes. A lot of women tend to hide under their clothing when they feel that they're not at a size that they're comfortable with. We all may have lumps and bumps that we may not feel super confident about. Hiding under really drapey oversized pieces actually makes us look more oversized. If you want to get polyester, for example, you can get it in blends that are very silk inspired. So they not only fall over your curves really beautifully, but it's not a piece that's going to hug and cling to every single ounce of your body because I know that that can make some women feel incredibly uncomfortable. But if you're gonna do this, try and get pieces that also fit your silhouette, at least to follow the shape of your body, just so again, it's not oversized and looks like just one big blocky sack when you wear it. Or if you find that some of your shirts are already doing that, you can do my next tip, which is to get yourself a good belt. When you're in between sizes and things start to not fit quite as you want them to be, sometimes belts can be a great best friend to have in your closet. So whether you want to scoop these little babies around the belt loops of your jeans or your pants to help hold them up, or whether you want to maybe cinch them around your midsection at the small of your waist um, to help pull in the shirts a little bit or give them a little bit more shape for those that have maybe, if you've gone through a lot of weight loss or you just have a couple of pieces that aren't quite fitting it how you would like them to, Sometimes adding a belt can give you a great silhouette and can make something look a little bit more edgy and sleek just for adding this simple accessory. Now on that polyester fabric note, um, this is an example of one that has that nice blousy material or that silk inspired material. Again, they look a little bit dressy, but the other thing I absolutely love about this piece is that it's got a print to it. For somebody that feels more self-conscious about your midsection, for example, opting for tops that have a print like what I'm wearing 
or even this one are great options because they help camouflage some of the areas that we feel are problems or that we just feel more self-conscious. The reason for that is because prints are always distracting. It takes time for the eye to kind of absorb the details of them. And as a result, there's not one area in particular that the eye can focus on. And as a result, ends up being more complimentary most of the time when we wear them. Now that doesn't mean you have to wear crazy colored prints like I tend to like. You can get classics like stripes, polka dots, houndstooth, check, things that always tend to stay in fashion and in style at any given time. Now the other thing I recommend everyone getting is a short t-shirt style dress. Now you guys probably heard in my wardrobe basics how I was talking about getting a t-shirt um, dress and a nice stretchy one and again stretch is going to be your best friend but I love skater style um, dresses or any kind of t-shirt dress that flatters your figure I think is an amazing essential to have in your closet especially if you feel like you're transitioning in size the reason for that is because these dresses can be dressed up so easily you can accessorize them with scarves and dress them down with boots you can put jeans underneath them if you want to make it look like more of a tunic and a longer piece underneath you can add a clutch and some beautiful heels and make them look dressed up. There are endless possibilities to put with these gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And again, because of the stretch of them, they will easily ebb and flow with your body for a size or two so that if you are in that transitional phase, they will go with you beautifully. And best part is Boohoo is so inexpensive. So if you go to pick up something from their website, these uh, t-shirt style dresses um, or short dresses in general typically only cost about 20 to 30 dollars at a max so it's not a huge investment which is perfect if you don't want to invest a lot of money at this point in your closet now a massive thing to keep in mind when you're in a uh, transition phase with your closet and your sizing is to find a good seamstress a seamstress can be such a lifesaver in terms of the clothing you have in your closet. Realistically, all the stretch in the world and all of these shirts and things that I'm talking about are great and will ebb and flow with you for most part. However, there will come a point where the clothing is too big. You don't want it to look saggy all over you because it will make you not only look dated, but you're not gonna look in the mirror and feel really good about yourself. Additionally, most pieces can only ebb and flow about a size or two at a max. And at that point, that's where your seamstress needs to come in and help you nip in some of those pieces, maybe around your waist, around the bum, around the hip line, around the thigh, leg, whatever, to make sure that everything fits beautifully. While you may not want to make a huge investment in your closet, paying the 10, 15, maybe even $20, just to take in those pieces as you also tailor in as well, is a fabulous investment to not only make sure you're feeling good when you look in the closet, but again, to give you the longevity with your clothing that you're looking for before you're ready to invest in other pieces in your closet. Not only that, but a good seamstress is always handy to have under your belt because most things don't fit just like a glove from off the rack so it's great to have someone that you trust that you can take your clothing to to make sure he or she can make everything fit just beautifully on your body because as I always talk about it's the little things that make your outfit really look polished and put together and my very last point for you guys especially for those that may have a larger bust if you're looking to transition in size if you feel more self-conscious about your bust sometimes a cowl neck looks absolutely gorgeous they fold over the bust line really beautifully and can look incredibly flattering even if it's just in a sweater it looks even better if it's in a blouse but they're just an elegant touch to any look and can help camouflage the bust line if you feel like that's an area where you again would like to more camouflage that you would like to camouflage sorry instead of display hey beauties that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and got some helpful tips or ideas to incorporate some things into your closet if you liked this video while you're watching it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit the little red subscribe button down below if you have not already and please remember that again a size is just a number it doesn't determine your value or your worth and that you are truly just as gorgeous right now as you are at any size that you may be picturing in your mind so please be kind to yourself and give yourself some self-love and self-care and other than that guys i love you to bits and pieces and i look forward to seeing you again in a couple of days Mwah. see ya